What is up, guys? Annie it's here, Guild Forever. We're going to do a redirect to Eden Zero, um, episode one. And I did kind of talk about it in the reaction itself. I apologize. I meant to save it for here. But yeah, this is just a redirect of Eden Zero, episode one. Make sure to thank my mod, Cody, um, for providing me the link in order to watch it. For those of you that don't know, the full-length reaction is in the is in the link in the description below. It's going to be the mega link. So yeah, make sure you check in the description below for the full length reaction. And all I just got to say is this anime looks really, really good. Episode 1 blew my mind. I love episode 1. It was good. I love the voice acting. I love the animation. I love the character progression. The way how it went from beginning to the end was just beautiful. The, the story was done very, very well. I cannot wait to see... How the story is going to turn out later on. Because, I mean, I know my jor not my majority, I know like a decent bit of the manga. Because I did read a little bit of the manga way, way back. But I decided to stop reading it because I had a feeling that they were going to release an adaption of this anime. Because it's too good. Like, this anime is too good to pass up. And, I was, and yeah, they released the, the anime. So I'm glad I decided to stop watching it. Because I really want to watch this. I really want to watch this anime. I want to focus more on the anime. I'm not saying the manga is bad. It's just, it feels, I want to hear the music, the OSTs, the voices, the anime. I want to see all that. And I want to experience it all not knowing anything. I'm going to know a decent bit of what happens in the manga. But not a whole, not everything. I can't wait for certain characters to come out. I really can't wait. Some I don't care for. Others I am very excited for. What really has me amped for this anime too is that it feels like I'm watching a uh, fairy tale again. Look, I'm not comparing this to fairy tale. I'm not like people out there that are saying, oh, this is just fairy tale in space. No, no, it's not. <laughs> no, it's not. For those of you that say, for those people that say it, obviously have not read. Well, I guess maybe it goes to show because I read a bit of the content in the manga. So I can personally say it is not fairy tale in space. It is its own thing and it does it amazingly. Personally, personally, I hold Eden Zero at the same caliber or even higher than fairy tale. That's that's how much I loved reading the manga. So the fact that this is getting an anime has me super excited. Please, if you guys know any sub, any links, or any uh, any videos that have episode two in sub, please, please send me the link. Please, I want to see episode two so bad. You have no idea how badly I want to see episode two. Episode one was done amazingly. I can't. I I I really want to see the next episode right now. I'm just pissed. I can't! Son of a... The thing is that I don't get... I thought this was going to be released on Netflix. Like, this was going to be a Netflix series. So, we wouldn't be getting it until who knows when it's fully done on Netflix. But, goes to show that we were able to find some online on YouTube. Yo, I just gotta say, the guy who uploaded this on YouTube, thank you. Or guy or girl. Sorry, I don't mean to assume gender. So... Guy or girl that upload on YouTube, thank you so much for providing that. Because I got a chance to see this episode in all its beauty. Honestly, this episode, I know like more or less the formula of Rave Master, Fairy Tale, kind of go hand in hand. But this, this beginning, this uplifting beginning, feels more so to something that comes out of Rave Master than Fairy Tale. Because in the beginning, yeah, like, it was just a girl minding her own business, blonde girl minding her own business until she encounters, like, the main character. That formula still remains the same. Except, like, it was, like, no, it's kind of its own thing, actually. It's kind of its own thing. Because it was the guys, more or less, that brought the girl along for the ride. Like, the girl got involved with the main character... Brought, he brought him along with the ride saying like Natsu was like hey you want to join fairy tale let me tell you to the best guild out let me take you to the best guild out there Natsu was the one that pretty much brought uh, Lucy along in the and rave master it was uh, uh, Haru that brought Ellie brought Ellie along and this situation is different Shiki was the one finding himself trying to find friends trying to find the place of where he belongs and then it was Rebecca 
that brought him along on that journey, on that ride, to the adventure of his life. But I find it interesting that they say, like, how the narration goes into this anime saying, like, oh, will you be a heroic legend, like a hero of legend, or will you be a demon tyrant that causes destruction? I like the parallels they're trying to bring of what perspective Shiki could end up over his fourth bringing into the series. Granted, he may have a... I feel like he may have a fusion of both. Like, he still is a hero at the same time. He's still as savage as a demon. That, or who knows. I definitely look forward to, like, how Shiki is going to develop. I'm not just saying power-wise, but overall, depending on his encounters with different people he... Uh, he finds, whether they're enemy, friend, or acquaintance. Uh, obviously, Rebecca is his friend, and... Her being a B-tuber or V-tuber or whatever she likes calling it. I can relate. Her dream is to have a million subscribers. Trust me. I can relate to you, girl. I can relate. Trust me. As someone that goes on YouTube, yeah, I feel you heavy there. But million subscribers. I wish. I wish. I I'd, be I'd wish just to have another thousand set of subscribers and I'd be cool with that. At least temporarily. But yeah, so... Um, very good story. Very good beginning. I look forward to more episodes. Please, guys. Please. 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 I cannot stretch this enough. If you guys find anything for episode two, hook a brother up. I need me that... I need me that Eden Zero, man. Okay, I'll stop. <laughs> I'll cool it. But yeah, you get the point. I definitely love this episode. I can't wait to see what happens more. And, I mean, it's pretty much obvious. We live in a certain date in society to where certain standards are met. But, god dang, the animation is just beautiful. Definitely a lot better than the final season. Sorry, I had to say it. Final season of Fairy Tale, I meant to say. So, had to say it. Sorry. I mean, hey, if Eden Zero gets good animation, I'm cool with that. This series is beautiful. Beautiful. Look forward to it. Anyway, guys, see you guys all next time. Peace. I'm out.